This is Dale of Top Gun Dog Training. Today I want to discuss a topic that I've never heard another dog trainer discuss before. And that is, how do you communicate with your dog when they get old and they lose their hearing? Now my dog Spalding will be 12 in January 2020. I have had him since he was three months old. Our relationship and our bond is so solid. He knows me so well and I know him so well that words aren't even necessary to communicate at this point. There are other ways that I communicate with my dog now that don't include words. How do I know he's lost his hearing? That's a good question. First of all, when I come in the door after being away, he used to run up to the door because he'd hear me come in. He'd be excited. Oh, I get to go outside. I get a treat, whatever. Well, he doesn't do that anymore because he doesn't he doesn't know when I'm there until I see him and I physically go over to him if he's sleeping and I touch him and he wakes up and he knows I'm there. When somebody used to deliver food or come over to the house and knock at the door, or ring the doorbell, he would react to that. He may bark once or twice, he may get up, he gets excited, somebody's here, ah, you know, he, he's, he's a dog, that's what dogs do. It's never out of control, but he lets me know that somebody's at the door. and. You know, I, I be with him at the dog park, for example, and he'll be off in the distance and I'll call him and he won't hear anything. He used to be able to hear and come right away. So what do I do? Well, first of all, if he can see me, I'll use gestures. So if I want him to come, I just do this or with one hand do this and he comes right away. If I want him to lay down, I just point to the ground or I put my hand all the way to the ground and follow him to the ground and then he lays down. These are some ways to communicate with your dog when you don't even have, you know, you don't even need words. When I'm walking him and I want him to turn right, I don't, I don't say anything or if, I, if he's pulling on the leash, I don't say anything. I don't say stop or we're going to go this way or come on this way. I just walk. I, you know, walk to the right or I go to the left and he follows me. If I stop, he stops. If I want him to stop and he's not stopped, I'll put my hand down like this in front of his face and he will stop after that. It's amazing what dogs can do without words. So there are four things that are very important way beyond words to communicate with your dog while you're training them or while you're just with them on a daily basis and also with obedience. And those four things are energy, body language, eye contact, and hand gestures. Now the energy is what is you're feeling inside. In other words, if you're walking your dog and you're feeling fearful and anxiety, your dog's gonna pick that up. But if you're confident and assured, your dog's also gonna pick that up and be much easier to walk. If you are, if your body language is showing signals that the dog doesn't know or like, then they may react a certain way. If you're sitting down or standing up or walking in a certain way, then you may want to check that as your dog is reacting to it to see what's going to be better for your dog. Every situation is different. Your gestures are going to be very important. Now, a dog that's been with me for almost 12 years, he understands my gestures and my body language and my energy. And of course, there's eye contact. When you have eye contact with a dog that you know, that is your dog that you've been training and working with for a long time, they easily understand and respond to you with all of those components put together. Eye contact, body language, gestures, and energy. They respond to that well, well, well over words. So I challenge you to try that with your dog. Don't use any words. Use the tools that I've given you here and see what happens. You'd be amazed at what dogs can do without words. Just the other forms of communication. And in addition to that, you know, human communication, they say human communication is only 7% the words that we say. It's 93% all the other stuff that I just talked about that dogs respond to as well. So try that with a human and see what happens. This is Dale of Top Gun Dog Training. Have a great day.